Hi, this is Dr. Richard Ruling, here to share with you on the Total Health Channel. We've been talking about Revelation and the second seal, which takes peace from the earth. And uh, what we're sharing today has a huge perspective. It probably is one of the longest time prophecies in the Bible, stemming from uh, way back in Genesis, actually. And so please, if you like it, indicate that. Please share it with your friends. It's a perspective that supports God as uh, in Isaiah 46, 10 says, he declares the end from the beginning. The book of Genesis is the book of beginnings. And there we find in the, uh, it's the 22nd chapter, God is testing Abraham over his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac. And if you, have ever had any interaction with Muslims, you understand that they think it was Ishmael that was to be offered. And what I'm about to share with you is proof positive for Muslims worldwide that the Bible is the true holy book, not uh, the, the Quran. And it's based on which is the true son, Isaac versus Ishmael. The, what I'm gonna share with you uh, uh, from that chapter in Genesis 22 Abraham found a ram caught in a thicket and he sacrificed that ram instead of Isaac. The sacrifice of the ram spared Isaac, okay? And if you fast forward to the book of Daniel, you find again a ram. And the sacrifice of a ram in the book of Daniel will also spare Isaac, Isaac's descendants, okay? Israel, because the, the son of, of Isaac was Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And we, if we understand this, the sacrifice of the ram, right now we have the descendants of Ishmael, Muslims uh, wish to drive Israel off the, the, uh, into the sea. From, uh, and they only have a little small area right now. Geographically, God originally gave them from the river Egypt to the river Euphrates. Israel is uh, a small area, but they wish to drive Israel into the sea. And uh, the fact is that in the vision of Daniel 8, Gabriel tells Daniel this vision is at the time of the end. Historians recognize the fulfillment of that vision when Alexander the Great defeated the Medes and Persians at the Battle of Arbela in 331. And we think it's all fulfilled. We've overlooked verse 17 that says it's at the time of the end, and that's our time because we have already seen the first horn on the ram. It says the horns on the ram in verse 20 are the kings of Media and Persia. And today you would say Iraq and Iran. And we have done Iraq. That's half fulfilled. And the next war will be against Iran. Not North Korea, not China, not Russia, but uh, Iran, really, if we can understand Bible prophecy. And this is uh, further support on the fact that this is not just way back historically, because several of the ingredients in the passage suggest it's for our time. For one thing, in verse 5, it says the, the goat came from the face of the whole earth. Well, Alexander the Great came from Grecia, but our coalition against Iraq came from, included troops from South America, Canada, Bosnia, Australia, Korea, all over the first face of the whole earth. And it says the, the goat touched not the ground. Well, Alexander the Great didn't have airplanes, but we did, and it was the first historic war fought and won in the air. Yeah, anybody, any atheist listening to this information and reading the book of Daniel ought to change their mind because uh, this is huge. We are living in a time when we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We look at the news eagerly searching what's happening. Did they attack us? Uh, what's going on? But God, spanning a, a, a history of 2,500 years, called it right. And if you count going back with Abraham and how the ram would spare Isaac, it goes back nearly 4,000 years, about 3,900 years. So God is calling the shots right, and we need to understand his side and his perspective better. And this is part of uh, what's going to take peace from the earth in the near future. The heads-up sign will be the destruction of Jerusalem. Christ, when he came out of the temple the last time, when his disciples called his attention to the great pillars and so on, stones of the temple, he said, shook his head sadly, said, not one stone on another. His disciples were shocked, and they said, what's the sign of that and of the end of the world? And the sign of the end of the world will be uh, trouble in Jerusalem, basically. And when we see that, I think this spring, 
It's a heads up for big things coming to America. We need to understand it better and uh, get with it. I'm indebted to a, a friend that um, 33 years ago, one third of a century, invited me to a prophecy conference in Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, on the way, he told me or shared with me these uh, uh, concepts of Daniel's vision in eighth chapter as being at the time of the end. And it has been enlightening to me. I'm indebted to him. He uh, uh, was printing books at that time to give to, uh, he printed uh, the book, I should tell you, The Great Controversy, actually, in, in Russian. And I had a friend that went on a train in Russia through 11 time zones pushing a box of these books, Great Controversy. Uh, this, this Time magazine, uh, which is now nearly 30 years old, 29, uh, shows my favorite author, uh, Ellen White, and how she was 100 years ahead of her time uh, when she wrote back in the 19th century. But uh, her book is relevant today. It's really, this is an ad showing how America is going to repudiate its constitution and the bloodbath that follows. And we're on verge for that kind of problem. We're seeing it relevant now. The, the um, Supreme Court Justice and the other, sorry, you can't see it too well here, but uh, agreed with things that she said that the separation of church and state isn't working. And that's what they're saying today, although that's what made America great, keeping religion out of politics. And so uh, if you'd like a really good book, this Time Magazine ad was for a, the book, $23 plus shipping. And I have a condensation, The Perfect Storm is Coming. And it's uh, if you'd like it, $3 will pay the postage as well. Uh, and I can mail it to you, first class. It's 90 pages very well illustrated on almost every page there are illustrations like this that's the ten commandments you see there etc so uh, go to my website if you like richard ruling last name spelled r-u-h-l-i-n-g and a donation for three dollars will get you the book if you don't have the great controversy if you've read the great controversy fine it's a has been a best-selling book but uh, if you don't know what it is and says, uh, I think you would be enlightened by the end time concepts uh, represented there. I'm doing a series on Revelation. And what we've just talked about is how the red horse with a great sword takes peace from the earth. It will happen with the war with Iran. But first, uh, its events come out of Daniel 8 and uh, the Zechariah 14 where uh, all nations are gathered against Jerusalem to battle. That's a heads up for now. Think, think about it, pray about it, God bless you, and uh, if you like what you've heard, uh, like this video, share it with others, and God bless you.